Um, Hunchback. Right, where we where we finished off, we've actually got the maps loading. Yeah, we've got the maps loading. But we ain't got any scrolling going yet. So that's today's task. But first, 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 I want to change this from being a macro to be a function. Because we're going to be calling it quite a lot. So this, I want to convert it into a function, right? So let's let's do this. Right. So um, so y is going to be the map number, yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is DEY. Alright, so Y is the map number. And then this should be all the same. And we'll just do that. Our function's quicker. Um, not, a, not, not a JSR, but we only call this once to set up the map. Yeah, So it does. it's not going to affect the raster. And the problem is, if we ha let's say if we have 20 maps, I would have this macro insert all this code, all this code 20 times. And I, I thought, no, we're going to convert it into a um, into a function. So let's put this into the map namespace. All right. So we'll put it there. Right, and then we should be able to change this to say map dot initialize map, and then here map one. Thalam Thalam Thalamus. Hang on, he sounds familiar. Welcome, welcome to my little corner of the internet, mate. Welcome, welcome. Right, right, so hopefully I ain't broke this. <laughs> hopefully. Yep, it still works. <laughs> so now it, we, we don't have to... Um, worry because now we can set a register with the map number so we've got dynamic now map initialization look so there's stack bats there's yours mate in and working let's pick another one do four just for random just to make sure there we go Right, so the next thing I want to do is we're going to try and get it to scroll. Yeah, let's get let's get the staging area working before we even think about putting. Um, hey, Fairlane! Before we even think about putting Hunch um, Quasi on, yeah. So I want to be at start um, uh, scrolling the scene. Now, I'm not going to go through creating the scroller because we did it before episode eight nine i think it was so i've got the four-way scroller here yeah so it's it's exactly the same as the four-way scroller that we developed yes mate he did Hang on. Hang on.
So, fun mu- music. <laughs> Something about the worst C64 music he's ever heard. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. <laughs> that's not nice. Um, there are. The music was lovely. Stack bats. There you go. There's your there's your shout out. Um, dashboard. Well, that was partly that was partly Fairlane's business there, and a bit of uh, Stuart. Um, what else? What else did it? He did say, he did say this. It needs a game over sound effect or tune. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it's something he was saying about. He said because he says the the same tune throughout the the whole of the title game and game over does not get does get a little great him. Maybe another tune somewhere. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Um, who's just followed? Say hello. Who's just followed? I can't see. Let's have, let's have a look at Twitch. What does Twitch say? Cycling Seven, welcome, welcome. Say hello to everyone. So yeah, so that's um, hello, welcome. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, he did say that. He thinks that the Nico logo should bounce around. Uh, the Nico's run logo should bounce around and stuff like that. Although the flight, I mean, this is something. I mean, you fell foul of this as well. You fell foul. Of, although the flying power up is fun, I I do get dropped straight on a tree. I don't think he quite understood that you could have bought the flying by press the the thing. I mean, this is what he was saying about maybe it. You know, get a mention in future issue of C64. Yeah, poor instructions. I think that was one of the things up here that he said. Um, there are what I struggled with. So the instructions. Uh, um, also, the change in speed. I mean, I didn't realise. I didn't. I thought the change in speed was fine, but yeah, there's that. So. But yeah, he did mention the did mention the music, did mention the music. So anyway, back to what we was doing. Yeah, but I don't know how to how to how to slowly change the speed, because we're only we're only changing it one you know one pixel. We're just you know we're going from shift scrolling one pixel to scrolling two. Yeah, the speed doubles. Oh, you have an idea. Oh, okay. Um, when you change the screen. All oh, right. Okay. Right. Just remember, you can buy my bottle now if you want to have one. Bit of shameless promotion. <laughs> right. So you can't die. Yeah, okay. We can certainly we can certainly look at that because we know when we're coming to it. So um Yes, exactly, Saucy. So that's why I was saying once we've got Hunchback in a position where uh, we're waiting for people to build you know build levels, we'll spend a couple of weeks back on Nico's run, apply some of the things that he's he's suggested and some of the books and try and find the book bugs that he's found. And then send it back to him and see if we get into 364. Twitch is not enough now. <laughs> I can't help it. Bit of self self promotion. Do I have OSK wine or beer glasses? Ooh. Ooh. I'll have a look. I'll have a look to see if they do that sort of thing. If they do. But remember, there's the Nico t-shirt. He, that's there as well. Not that I'm <laughs> trying to sell stuff. Because <laughs> I don't make any money out of it. I've, I've 
kept the prices really low so it's just for you to have a, a memento it's not to make any money out of right so scrolling so we're going to try and put scrolling in all right we're going to try and scroll the screen the staging area so we're going to try and scroll the staging area through the the screen yeah because remember when we was talking about staging is the entire thing and then we have a viewport into the staging area yeah so we're going to try and move that viewport are they from streamlabs yes that they are very expensive, but if you if you t if you make no profit out of it, mate, I, it's the sort of sort of money that I would have spent. If you if you don't, because some people some people put massive profit on it, you know, like t-shirt, they're making twenty dollars on a t-shirt, and I think that's just rubbish. You know, so the t everything on my store is I, I make no profit on it, so. But I'll have a look for wine or beer glasses. See if they've got. See if they've got something in there. Oh, link. Um, there you go. There you go. Right. So scrolling. So we've got the library already in place. This is. I, uh, I'm not make the merch is I don't make any money out of the merch. It's more for you guys to ha have a memento. Hey, up! We have a visitor, and you get a picture of his bum. Hello. Uh, just you haven't stopped. Yeah, I'm not stopped. Nico, Nico. Aston. All right. He he's right. Okay, he's he's doing all right. I've spoke. I've I, I've I've spoken to the vet uh, about his um, balance issues, um, and I'm going to be ringing him back tomorrow to see if they want to see him. May change his medication. But he hasn't. He hasn't. Um, he hasn't fallen down the stairs since Monday. He's nearly, but he caught it just in time. But he's, um, yeah, he's, um, he's, he's, he's definitely got a balance problem because he just topples over, just topples over. Anyway, when he comes back, I'll stick Nico Cam on again. Right, so scrolling. So where I'm, what I'm going to try and do is just try and get the scrolling thing working. Yeah, uh, what I'm going to try try get try and do is get it to scroll that way, and then when it hits the end, it scrolls back, and then when it hits the end, it scrolls that. Just to make sure that the scrolling's working on all the maps. Yeah, just to make sure that the scrolling's working on all the maps. So we're going to use the scrolling library. All right. So. And this this is the library that we wrote. Um, I can't remember which Twitch lesson lesson it was, but the four way scroller library that we did way way back when dinosaurs ruled the earth. And and we'll get it to. Um, so if you ever want to see it, the the the, the four way scrollers in my GitHub. Um, it's under the Twitch streams. Let's get in there. Uh, where's the Twitch streams? There we go. There. Here we are. Four-way scrolling library. Yeah, there it is. Episode 9. So if you want the code for this library, it's in here. Alright? With a, with a demo as well. Alright? So... Just in case you guys want the link. There you go. Knock yourselves out. So, now I've got Hunchback 1 open, which is here. Because I was trying to work out 
how I was trying to <laughs> trying to familiarize myself <laughs> with, how, with how it works. Oh, stack that, mate. I was wearing that a couple of streams ago. Thank you for buying the t-shirt, mate. Thank you for buying the t-shirt. <laughs> it's uh, a t-shirt and we've got Doxter with my plank hat and now we've got Microman with the OSK hoodie. Um, I think, I think Grey Defender's got Neptune Lander t-shirt, and now you've just bought Nico Run t-shirt. Yay, I'm getting out there, I'm getting out there. Right, so, so this is Hunt, <laughs> this, I'm really chuffed about that. Sort the beer glasses out, yes, I will have a look tonight to see if they've got beer glasses. If they have, I'll stick it on there. Um, I'll stick it on with just the OSK logo. And uh, if anybody wants a Nico's Run glass or something like that, then we'll do a, we'll do specials. Right. So this is Hunchback One, and the way the scroller works in Hunchback One is we tell we tell we tell um, the scroller what to do. Right. So here we're telling the scroller to scroll right. <laughs> Tourists look at you look at you when you carry in the plank cap. <laughs> oh dear. That is that is <laughs> I, I I don't know how you I don't know how you look, mate. But I can just imagine you walking through town with a, a plank cap on. <laughs> nice. Right. So we tell the scroller what we want to do. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to copy that, and we are going to move that away. Go back to Hunchback Two. So here. We're going to initially, we're going to tell it we want to scroll right. But we want to scroll left, don't we? Really, we want to scroll left. Now, why is that not seen? Is it in, is it in maps? Where's the constants for all this lot? Well, it's definitely not in there. Not in there. So it's got to be in here. No. Okay. Let's find out where it is. Let's find out where it is. There we go. Oh, it's in four way scroller. Oh, okay. Say again. Yeah. I'll I'll take it with the rest of them, yeah? yeah. Right, four way scroller, so it's in here. There they are. Right, so have I imported the four way scroller into Quasi? Yes. Ah that's the issue, isn't it? That's the issue because it's a constant. Right, let's change that to a label. Right, let's do that. That should sort that out. There we go. So, scrolling left, I think, is going that way. Yeah? No, that scroll is that scrolling right? Oh, we'll find out. Right, just for temporary, temporary, temporary purposes, let's put a 
Um, 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 um. Let's put direction in there. So, um, so as we're going to loop through this, we're going to do the scrolling, yeah? So we need to check. So if we're if we've got the direction going one, we've got the direction going one. That's going that way. Yeah, that's going that way. Yes. Right. Going left. Right, so this is going right, right? So, um, we are going to tell it we want to scroll right. But before we tell it we want to scroll right, we're going to have to check something. So, LDA lib scroller. Dot. Now we have left hand, yeah, you know, screen left hand column, and we need to check. Now let me just make sure that I am speaking properly here, because I could be talking out of my bottom. There, that's what I want. So we're going to load the left hand column index and then we're going to check because we're scrolling because I think right scrolling that way we're going to test it with the maximum left hand column scroll yeah if it's if it's not equal then we're going to say scroll right If it is equal, then we're going to store that in direction. And, 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 and. Oh, we can do our, we can do our thing here, can't we? That's it. Right, so that's two bytes. So dot byte. I think it's that one, isn't it? 2C. I think it's that one, isn't it? 2C. Let's check before we go any further. Yep. No, 2-4. Two bytes, two four, two four. So that will nullify that. Oh no, it's going to be two C because it's three bytes, isn't it? One, two, three, two C. Yeah, that will nullify that and make it do the make it do the stop. All right. So let's um, let's do perform scroll. Let's put that in and then we can jump to perform scroll. Right, so now we just need to do the opposite. So let's grab that, grab that, grab that. Don't need to do that. Stick that there. Right, so this time this time, where is it gone? Yeah, going left. Here we go. So we're loading that. This time we're testing with zero. All right, and we'll say that's left. Left. 
and this will go to one we'll stop it but this one's going to be scrolling left right so to perform the scroll let me find let me find where it is right I think it's just scroll do I do an initialize scroller no I don't let's do all this make sh let's initialize the scroller set the requested as well oh no we're doing we're doing right aren't we Uh, let's have a look. Right, so reset the map. Where's the scroller? That's the uh, that's the last thing on here, I think. Ah, here we go. There it is. So process scroll. Right, let's see if we've broken it. Right then. Well, that's going the wrong way for a kickoff. So, left. And we'll make direction be 255 then. Right. Let's try it this time. Oh, it's still going the wrong way. Did I change the wrong one? No, I didn't. It's going the right way, but it's not scrolling the screen. This bit is. This bit's scrolling. Or oh, is it? Oh, no, it's not. So nothing's scrolling at all. The colour is. Well, the switcheroo's working. Right, let me just check a few things. Are we, are we? Right, it's probably not in there, it's probably in here. So we're definitely, we're definitely doing those two. That's what I'm about to find out, mate. That's what I'm about to find out. Well, it's definitely doing the swap. It's definitely doing the swap. Because it's swap. It's there. You go. It's there. You go. It's it's definitely doing the screen swap. So. Um, it's like it's not. It, I mean, like it's like it's not put in. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, it's not doing the copy, is it? It's not doing the copy at all. Right, let's find out what's... Let's figure this out. Maybe I've taken something out I shouldn't have done. Knowing me. Right. So initialising the scroll, which is what we do there. This is processing the scroll. So where's the copy? Here we go. Shift left. Copy and shift left. That's what it's doing there. Should That should be doing that. So let's go into there. We'll, we'll, stick, a, we'll stick a break point on that. And see if it's doing it. Come on. <laughs> no, it's not doing it, is it? It's not even going through it. Right, let's let's run through it. It's not even getting to that break point. This one. Yeah, I'm just... Let's put a let's put a break point on here. Let's let's walk through it. Cuz I think I'm missing something. Cuz it's the same cut well the only thing I've done is rem some stuff out, but I don't think that would be it. Right, here we go. Right. Let's go into is it that one? No. That one, no. Ah, there we go. Right, so. Load the scroll requested, which is two, and it's not that. So now we are... Store it in the scroll direction scene. Is it left? If only the code had been properly documented. <laughs> yeah. Branch if branch if equal to Oh So scroll right. Oh yeah, I set it to scroll right, didn't I? Right, so this is jump it scroll right. Scroll right, yes. Load the scroll X frame counter which is four compare it with five don't bother compare it with six don't bother compare it with seven don't bother compare it with zero don't bother right why is that not gone through the copy Oh, that's okay. Next one. Right, so we know that works. And um, now we're at two. So going backwards. Right, let's put a break point on. Oh, let's get there first. There. That's it. 
Right, it's put a break point there. Right, we're on two. We'll get rid of that one, so don't need it. Two, it's all, oh, no, 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 wrong one. There we go. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Right, here we go. This should do the shift. Right, load. Current screen RAM 5 is 04. That's no good. That's no good. 04 is no good. No wonder it's not doing it. Why is it screen RAM 04? That's, that can't be right. Maybe it is. Screen RAM is 4000. Screen RAM 2 is 44. Okay. I mean, it's definitely flitting between the two. Right, let's put the let's put the uh, break point where's the break point there right let's sh shift it down to where I need it which is that's left which is this one here right put the break point there let's try again let's go through it F6 So we're at 40, yeah? So we're at 40, right. So we're at four. Where our index counter is at four, right, go forward. Now five, here we go, right. Shift right. Load current screen RAM high is zero, okay. I don't know about it. Okay, I suppose. I suppose. If it's greater than that, no. Then copy screen one. So this is copying screen one onto screen two. Right, we'll put a break point there. Let it run through. So we should have a copy of screen one onto screen two. Right, um, where's the memory? Here we go. So 29280102. Zero, 29, 2A, oh, is that right? 29, uh, 29280102. 029280102. Right, so it's done the copy. It's done the copy and the shift. Right, so let's just go back. Load. Is it stopped? No. Oh. Come on. Do the scroll. Right, next one. So six. That's what we're on. 
is now decreasing. We're going the wrong way. Decreasing the left-hand column. That's probably why it's going a bit f screwy. Because we're going the wrong way. We must... Right. Okay. We need to start off left then. Because scroll right is going the wrong way. Scroll left. Alright. Let's put a break point on scroll left. There, like so. No, not there. Uh, do, do, do. Scroll requested. Go to scroll left. Yeah, here we go. This is the one. There. Right. So we should be going through the left now. Right. So we're at four. No. Five. Here we go. Oh, is that that's still going through right? Oh, hang on. Maybe it's because I've got that the wrong way around. Hang on. Let me just uh, let me just check. Well, that's going the right way this time. Now, I'm just wondering. Because I'm requesting the scroll every time. Do I need to? Well, we'll step through it. Let's step through it. Right, I've still got the breakpoints in place. Right, four. We're not interested in four. Uh, three, here we go, we're going the right way now. Two, here we go. We'll put a break point there so we can come at, jump out of it when we want to. So that is zero. Right, so we're copying screen one onto screen two. Right, go. Let's go back to here. Uh, at a 4,000, so that's 29, 2A, 1, 2, 0. So this should be 2A, 1, 2, 0. Yeah, that's, that's scrolled the right way. Okay, so that's working. Right, next one. Right, we're on 1. Okay, there. Evaluate the left and buffer. Work out the column, load that to zero, roll it, store it, jump to evaluate, okay. Zero, add 40. Yeah. That. Oh, no, no, no. It's there, isn't it? That's the one I want. That should have copied the. Okay. Next one is zero. Right, zero. Draw the buffer onto the left hand side. Here we go. Uh, 
So we are on screen zero still. But we are going to be putting it. Yeah, there. Right, let's see. Um, okay. Next one should be doing the screen swap now. Here we go. JSR screen switcher. Right, load that. XOR with that. Store it. Load that. XOR with that. Store it. Increase the screen column. Shift the color. That should be doing it. That zero, right, here we go. So on seven here, right. So seven should switch that screen. Right. So we're on 4,000. Now it's switched to 4400. But the screen looks the same. It's not, it doesn't look like it's copying back. Right, five, four, three, two, one. Where are we? We're at 44, so we're copying back. Right, this is going to be zero. Right, this is seven, so we should be copying back. But not have twenty nine two eight oh one oh two. Here we go. So this is going to flip it back. So two nine two eight oh one oh two. Oh, it's not changing it, is it? Right, that's Reddit. Right, here we go. So this should save. It's not stored it. It's not stored it. Right, okay. So we're on... We're on 4,000, right, let's just get it to swap. Right, now it's on 4,400. So, let's see, uh, where's the, what number is the copy on? Uh, da, 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 da. Shift screen is on two, right. Five, four, three, Two. Here we go. 
shifting left so we should be on four which we are look we're on four but we're comparing it with 44 really Where's the scroller? Hey Davies Tavern, welcome. Welcome. You have joined us at a point where we are baffled. I can't be right then. <laughs> I just started learning last week. Well, you've come to the right place. <laughs> Why? Why, why, why is that not working? I must be initialising this wrong. Let me find, let me find that in here. I must be initialising that wrong. There's no other stores in there, is there? So have a look in the other one. Where's Hunchback one? Here we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Missed a bit. Missed a bit in the initializer. There we go. Right, that's a bit rough and ready. And the reason for that is because we've got the interrupt going. So let's just turn the interrupt off. Also, you're learning C sharp, and this doesn't look anything I've learned. So, what language are you using? <laughs> well, professionally, I I write in C sharp, JavaScript, uh, No JS, Visual Basic, um, uh, UI five. I'm learning Apex at the moment. But this is 6502 assembly. Right. Let's see. Have we got a smooth scroll now? No, we haven't. What is going on? Let's put... Um, Oh, that's why. That's why. There we go. So we'll just knock it down. If that's 200, 
220. We'll knock it down to 220. There she blows. Right, let's get rid of the flashing. There she blows. Oh, that was a bit, that was a bit suspect. Right. Um. Right, I'm just wondering if I need to keep telling it to go left. think I need to right let's so when it hits it we need to go right oops right Hmm. We got the glitch again. I have no idea what's going on there. What would be going on there? Um, let's instead of uh, let's do 255. Only if we're turning too early. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't matter anyway because this is just a test anyway. It's just to test the scrolling. And it seems to be working backwards and forwards. Except for that. But it's okay on that side, but not on that side. Let's, let's, let's not do zero. Let's do one. Maybe we need to be one. Maybe we need to have one column on the screen. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh, I'm not worrying about that just yet. We've got the glitch though. Um. Anyway, I am. Um, what is complaining here? Got zero errors and one warning. Warning, use an absolute mode for a zero page argument. Really? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I've fallen foul of that. <laughs> yeah, I've fallen foul of that. Especially when the the languages are very similar. Yeah. Oh, I'm ignoring that. Oh. There you go. Are you happier now? Right. So, let's tr we're going to scroll through all the maps now. That's the whole point of this scroll is to see what the all the maps look like when you scroll through them. Oh, that's doing me nothing. Let me just do sort that out. Um 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 um, um. Oh. Where's 40 column mode? Where's the 40 column mode? I think it's that. I think it's that. No, it's not that. Right, okay. Let's find my Bible. I think it's that, isn't it? DL18. Right, I thought it was one eight. No, it's not one eight. Okay. Where's Scrolly Y? Scrolly X, here we go. Oh, it's Scrolly X. Bit three. Bit three, Scrolly X. Right, we should now see a perfect scroll. There we go, it's better. Right, so this is map one. Yeah, if you remember, let me uh, let me load it up. So map one is this one here, this one, yeah? So we'll uh, do that. That seems to be okay. Forget the colors on the bounce, forget them. 
because the colours go back. Right, so map two. Let's try map two. Let's see if that's okay. Right, map two. Which is this one, which has OSK in it. Everything seems to be okay on that. Forget the colours, like I say. Right, let's try map. Th <laughs> that always case cool. Uh, right, so map three is this one. So let's just make sure the scroll's working on that one. Colours seem to be all right. Right, ignore the, like I say, ignore those colours. Right, map four is this one. It's not quite getting to the right hand side of the map, isn't it? Let's have a look. Let's see. Yes, we are we are short. There you go, it's done it. That's got it. Now, the other side's not doing it because I made it one, didn't I? And it should be zero. Let's try that. Right. So we know this is now working because it just appears the column right at the very end. You know that co blue column there? There it is. So we're now waiting for this column on this side. That should appear before it re returns back. There it is. It just came into view. Right. So, uh, da, 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 we are on, what, what, which one have we just done? Map three, now four. So map four is this one here.
Yep, that's doing it. Right, five. Let's do five. I just want to check that our, when you guys start building the maps that the scroller's going to work on them. And we've got enough test maps to mess around with, yeah? So there's five. So that's this one here. I mean, all the animation's working okay. Right, we'll ignore that colour, because I'm ignoring it. Right, so, six. To be honest... I wonder if I need to draw the map again, when it bounces back. Maybe, let's just try that. So when it's going... So when it hits zero, this is it here. When it hits zero, maybe we just need to draw the map again. Right, map six. Here we go. Ooh. Still the colour doesn't... It doesn't like the colour. But it corrects itself. I'm happy with that. Anyway. Right. Okay. Next one. Seven. That didn't do any out. Anyway. Seven. Where are we? So, these are the two Fairlane ones, the two new ones, Fairlane's them, because they've got the these these shields on them. And I think that's where the start and end points are, I think. I think that's what they are. I need to um, confirm with him. Oh, hello. I don't know, mate, but... Um, I'm not too worried about it in this. I mean, we've got the glitch up here, but that's just because of... Uh... Right. Stay, stat bats. Here's yours, mate. Let's see what it looks like when it's scrolling. There we go. Oh, I do like... I do like the cityscape in the background. <laughs> Yeah, scrolling sorted. So I think now any maps that you guys give us, yeah, ignore the colours. Any maps that you guys give guys give us, um, the scroller should be able to handle it. So yours is a different character set as well. So it's loading the right character set because we've got the cityscape up here. But yeah, that's the scroller sorted. Scroll assorted. Fine. I'm a bit concerned about the um, the bounce back, but I think that's just because we're not doing it properly. Because you got to remember, we have to stop on a specific pixel, and at the moment, we're probably not. Maybe I need to check the pixel. And then change direction. Which is this. Let's let's try that. Um it's on the zero, isn't it? So it's this. Right.
Where's right? Where's the right? That's up here. Because we need to do it on this as well. Right, maybe that might fix it. Because he... We have to be on four, yeah? We have to make sure that we are on four. Because if we're not on four, then that's probably why the colour's getting out of sync on the bounce. That side's okay, right? Might not be able to see it as much on yours because... Um... Right, let's go to... Let's go back to one. Right, so we know when we bounced back, we ended up with a load of cyan, yeah? So, let's see. Come on. Nailed it. Nailed it, just because we was not on the right frame when we changed direction. Nailed it. Right then. <laughs> Ship it. <laughs> right then, guys. So... Remember. Oh my god, more bits? Thank you very much. Oh fair you guys thank really you, spoil me. Thank you for the thank you for the hundred bits, mate. Thank you. Right, so guys, we've now shown that this template with the two extra from fair lanes on there and stat bats that one. So we got two different maps with two different character sets, two different tile sets. Two different sets of attributes are working in the scroller. So you guys should be able to go mental creating these levels, yeah? And then we'll we'll build them up, yeah? So you've got no excuse now not to make levels. No excuse. None whatsoever. <laughs> Right, so, uh, so that's all working. So what's next? What should we What should we do now? You can't be asked. <laughs> oh, waiting for your power supply. <laughs> oh dear. A proper power supply. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that power supplies are in short supply. Oh dear. Right. What should we do now? Right. So we've got the scroller sorted. Um. Maybe we should start working on hunchbacks. Hunchbacks functionality, I suppose. Do you, you do not want a short on your power supply? <laughs> no. Yes. No. Oh, it was ordered two days ago. Okay. Right. So, um, so we need to we need to start thinking about quasi. And. The sprite, I'm not going to say management system, but the sprite displayer, because we're going to have, we'll have to have flexible sprites. Quasi's going to be the same. Um, let's just, let's just see what we do on this one. So this is, uh, this is Quasi 1, yeah?
So as you can see, we've got two we, we have two sprites for quasi and there's this sprite for the arrow. But if I move Right, that's definitely the jump. Oh, I may have jumped too early. Yeah. Jump too early. Oh, got a break point. Right, you'll see what I'm getting on about now. These sprites are dynamically assigned, yeah? So as you can see, this, this sprite and this sprite. As you can see, they're all changing. And so we need... That's what I'm on about the sprite management system is the the to reuse the available sprites for all the different things that we've got. So we're going to keep two sprites static for quasi, but then all the other sprites are going to be dynamically allocated to whatever is on at the time. So we need so we'll need an array with everything in it. Everything in it. And the problem that we had before is we had an array with everything in it and we don't need everything. And that's why it was it's it's why it was choking up so much time. So Right. Um Let's go put that over there. So, what we need is, um, we're, we're going to need an array because we're going to be reusing, like I say, we're going to be reusing sprites. So we're going to need to, add, we can't use the sprites itself as our data store. So we're going to have to have an array with all the, all the information we need for the sprite. Yeah. So. Just, just thinking, just thinking. Right. Where's the game, game storage? So, we'll stick it in the game storage, yeah? We'll stick it in the game storage. So, we'll create another... We'll create another namespace, and so yeah, that's that's what I'm what I'm thinking of. Um, Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. Now let, let's see. Do I? We'll use we'll use a bit of uh, we'll use a bit of myriad terminology. So we've got some elements. We got some elements. Right, so elements. Um, <laughs> I can't blame Nico for that one. <laughs> I, I was trying to think, and all my brain's going, You need to go, mate. You need to go right now. <laughs> I was busting. <laughs> oh, dear.
I can't blame Nico for that. I can't blame Nico for that. Anyway, I'm, I'm empty now, so I can think straight. Right, okay, so I'm, I'm just debating. <laughs> John's done a whoops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm debating whether, I'm debating whether to just have an array of sprite attributes and then affect those sprite attributes or have an array of elements and then we run through the elements to put the sprites on. Um, I'm not sure. Um, Yeah. Um No, we'll we'll do the um We'll do the array of sprite elements. We'll do that. We'll do that instead. Because I'm just thinking about animation, how we're going to control the animation. I don't really want to. I don't really want to have to have code controlling the animation. I just want it to be able to loop round the four. Because I think everything has. I think everything has four sprites. Four sprites. I think. I uh, let's have a look. I think everything has four sprites. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That doesn't, but it's not animated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's it. That's four. Uh, four, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so we've... Right, so we can make the animation pretty simple, right? We can make the animation pretty simple. So I think... I think we can... Um, Because I want to, I want to do what we did in Nico's run. Because we didn't, we didn't have to worry about animation. We just set, we just set the base, we just set the base animation, and then let the timer do work out um, which frame it was doing. So let's do this. So elements, right? So we're going to use, we're going to, we're going to have an array of sprite specific things. Yeah. So, so enabled. Uh, fill uh... oh that's not there ah that's why uh, da -da 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 -da. in fact we will just Grab this lot. That should do it. Right, so whether the sprite we're going to have lots of logical sprites so um so we need to run through so what do we need so uh add a few of those so this is going to be the fraction x fraction so this might it's going to be x low x high
Yeah. Then uh, y fraction. And then y. Um, oh, the color of it. Uh, the base animation frame. And um, oh yeah, multi whether it's multicolor or not. What else? What else? Um, Oh yeah, priority. Priority, because I think some of them, I think some of them don't, some of them go behind. Is base frame an address? Um, Oh, <laughs> oh dear, John shows his true skills, playing games with old school coder, right, we do have Oh, come on, John. You can play better than that. Oh, I'm getting frustrated now. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, oh, I've gone not early enough. Ah, oh, rats! But there is some behind. I think the skeleton. I think the skulls. Um, let me turn off collision detection. Let me turn off turn off collision detection. Um, if I can remember where it is. Um. There, I think it's that. I should be able to walk on fire now. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Okay, um, it's got to be somewhere else then. Um, update quasi. Um, uh, evaluate surroundings. Oh, that's reset map. Um, Oh, it must be in Quasi. It must be in Quasi when we update Quasi. Uh, Gain Quasi. Oh, come on, John. Where is it? Oh, I wish I'd put something in it. Oh, here we go. Sprite collision with Quasi. Let's, uh, let's do that. Right, let's do that. Right, that should start. <laughs> right, walk on. No! Really? 
Oh, how am I doing that? Has Quasi been stupid? That's the one. That's got to be the one. Has Quasi been stupid? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I've forgotten. Walk on fire. There we go. Walking on fire. Right. Here. See the skull goes behind. The skull goes behind. And I, I suppose these should go behind as well. So we, that's why we need a priority to make sure. Yeah, we need priority in there. Right, okay, that's demonstrated that and my and my ability not how not to play a game. <laughs> right, okay, so this is our array. Um what we got here? Um It's it's the pointer to the sprite data mate. It's the pointer to the sprite frame, yeah? Same as playing games with Phase 101. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. What? Where was I up to? Um, that's that. Get that out of the way so I'm not getting confused between the two. So we're going to manipulate this array and then that array will define how the sprites come on the screen. Yeah. So we need to set some um, some sprite IDs, I suppose. Um, some sprite IDs. Um, how we're going to do the sprite IDs? Um, I suppose. Um, I mean, I'm not thinking about the bad guy array yet. Oh, the bad guy array has its own array. That has its own array. Right, okay. Okay, okay. So we don't need to think about the bad guy, Ray. Because we can use this. Hmm, maybe I'm overthinking it again. Um, maybe I'm overthinking it. Or, or... Should I do it as an element? No, we'll stick with this. But my brain is now questioned in that questioning this already um, uh, 
I'm now thinking. I'm thinking now, because the types the type is going to determine what it is. We still need to say if it's on or not. We still need to position it. Still need to have a colour. Still need to have the base animation frame. <laughs> All right, Furling. We'll see you next time. Yeah, night night. I am. I am having an internal battle at the moment. <laughs> um, how did I? So we we alter the bad guy array, and then we must. Do we? Uh... Oh, I see. Okay, I see. I see. Okay. Right, I'm just looking at the old code. I'm just trying to just looking at how we do the bad guys. We have the bad guy array, but then we transpose the data into this sprite array, which then the sprite library then displays on on the screen. So, what I'm trying to avoid is that is that unnecessary copy from the bad guy array to the sprite array. Yeah. So we need to add more elements into this to do um, to do all the other stuff on here right so we've got direct right so so I'm just gonna put a gap there So the bad guy, so they've got um, direction. Yeah. They've also got uh, speed low. Uh, speed fraction. And in fact, we'll keep everything in alignment uh, what else they've got oh yeah um, in collision and right So, so the sprite, this sprite array, this this array now is going to be the elements, and it's going to have all the information that we can use to update the sprite. Because we're going to take this virtual sprite, uh, this logical sprite array. And transpose it onto the physical sprite array, which is only eight. Yeah, so as we've got a maximum, I think it's eighteen. Yeah, eighteen logical sprites that are going to fit onto eight sprites. So I've just looked at the bad guy array, and we've got uh, low, high. Oh, right, okay. Didn't see that. 
Right, okay. Oh. Maybe we need a... Oh. Yeah. I do believe this is not going to work. We're going to have to... Um, Right. Oh, sprites is already divine. Okay. Um. So here, because these are all the characteristics of the bad guys. So we've got min x low. min x high max x low and max x high because that's def that's defining the characteristics of the bad guy yeah and we'll have another one there, which is type. Which means we don't need that one. Which means we don't need that one. And I think... We're going to need um, we're going to have to have a way of of identifying which of those bad guys relates to what sprite in the virtual array yeah Okay, right. Let's forget about sprite uh, bad guys. Let's get back to sprites. So we are going to we are going to um, just make sure. Have I got it in here? Aha! There. Sprite numbers. Right, so we've got sprite numbers here, but we're not going to use the fireball one. So these are the virtual, these are the entity sprite, uh, the virtual sprite numbers. So, so we've got quasi high res, quasi uh, sprite, Jill, and I mean I put the fireball in it, but it doesn't need to be there. So we're going to take the first four virtual sprites up for quasi and Jill, but quasi is always going to be on the screen. So we're going to always make sure that quasi has the first two sprites. So in this virtual array that we've got here, Quasi is going to be sprite zero and one, and that's how we're going to address it. All right. So um, let's let's get let's get ready to rumble. Right. So new file uh, game Quasi. So um, let's grab the default thing that we always bring in, which is going to be all this lot. No, that. Uh, 
Right. Uh, dot. Right. So let's start with. Um, So initializing now I've got some initialization routine in here somewhere we could possibly just hijack it because um, it's going to be the same so look initializes oh, that's update quasi Have we got an initializer? Not in there, no. Uh, initialize map, no. Here we go. Set up quasi sprites. Here we go. So go to definition. So we'll grab all of that. But we're going to be diff it's going to be different because this is going to be using a library that doesn't exist anymore yeah so we're not going to be linking sprites because this this is all about looking after quasi um this is about setting the frame right okay yeah so this is going to be store and of course we haven't imported that base animation frame comma y because that's going to be the sprite number yeah so that's going to be sprite zero that's the sprite number in the virtual array so that is going to be that one there as well whoops so this is setting the base frame yeah now we're saying whether it's going to be switched on or not which which is fine because we can just do this um, uh, da, 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 ink constants where's ink constants there have we got an on and off no right so let's put one in No, 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 all the way around. Set. Right, so back into gain quasi. So on. And then store. now um jill we won't bother with jill at the moment we're just concentrating on quasi at the moment so we're setting multicolor well that's going to be all right so we will load y the accumulator is still got on so we'll store store that So we don't need to do that and this is now setting 
the color orange so orange and then we will store this in color and then we'll load brown and we'll store that in there so that's setting quasi up That's setting the quasi sprite up. Okay. That will work. Now I need to find out where we set him. Oh, there. Right, so let's create. Let's create another function. We're in quasi, so we don't need that. Right, so we're going to initialize the start position. So let's. Let's grab that. So his initialize his initial start position is ninety and zero. So we'll store that. Right, um, I know this is going to look silly because we're te we're setting two sp we're set for quasi we're setting two spikes. So we've got to set both of them. Now I know that is zero and that is one and I could have just done an INY, but it's just in case we don't have them in the concurrent. And so we need to set, um, so we start Y position is that. So that's the multicolor. So we'll set the high res one as well. Now, game constants. Let's do something in here. Um, Right, so start x low and um, start no start x low is ninety start x high equals naught start y equals one. Oh my god, more bits? Thank you very much. You guys really what? spoil me. What's going on? Oh Doxter! Thank you very much, mate, for the bits. That was a bit out of the blue. That was a bit out of the blue. You can't blame Nico. He was in his bed. Oh, 
Aston's out of his bed. Yeah, Aston's out of his bed. Right. So we're setting... Um, let's get that in there. So we we'll start. We'll we we'll start using proper things. So right, game constants dot quasi dot start x low. X high. Use the same one there. Game constants dot. Quasi dot start y. I like this new extension now. I'll do like the new extension. He's done very well now fixing this extension. I do like it. I do like it. It's about time. <laughs> you like a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you was. You was, mate. Right, what else? Um, that's setting up Jill. Right, so that's setting up the start position. Right, RTS. So, let's, let's get in there so um so uh animate animate so we are going to need um i'm just wondering whether to use a global frame counter for everything Yeah, let's use a global frame counter for everything. Um, game storage. Do did I put did I have one in here? Sprite frame counter. Is that the one? That may be the one. Right, so. So, um, load storage. Oh, it's, it's storage, isn't it? Right. Dot. Frame counter. Right. Uh, what was what was his animation delay? What was his animation delay? Have I still got it in game constants? Was he framed? Oh, we got varying quest frames, frame delays. That's all right. If that's if that's how it is, we'll just test the. Um... Hang on a sec. Right, the scaffolders, um, the scaffolders didn't come today. I'm having solar panels installed tomorrow, right? And there's no scaffolding outside. 
I've just had a text message saying they are coming at 6am to put the scaffolding up. Ridiculous. Got no scaffolding and I've got the solar panel installers coming tomorrow. <laughs> oh dear. Life, life doesn't... Ugh. Anyway, right. So we got different. We got different frame delays. All right. So in so in the animation, we are. I think we're going to have to um, test the base. We're going to have to test the base. Um, oh. John, get your words out. Gonna have to test the base animation frame. To that, then that's gonna determine our de our delay. Yeah. So LDY hash. Oh, we only need to look at one because Quasi's got the same delay on both of them, so we don't need. So storage dot sprites sprite array. Ooh dot base animation frame comma white right so we load that in then we can compare with uh, constants we can compare then now with his with his frame so we're comparing um, so it was uh, what was the delays um, there was idle and jump and the rest of it rest of it right so it's the idle and jump that we need to look for so we'll do the idle first which is that one So compare it with that. Um, branch if not equal to to um, Right, so test for jump. So we'll do the same thing again. In fact, we'll copy both of them. So jump, there's two jumps. That's the only problem, there's two jumps. There's jump left and jump right. So we'll grab that, put that there. And test for jump left, we'll do that. In fact, we'll change that to right so we know exactly what we're doing. Jump right. And we'll make this left. A branch if equal. And we'll make that go backwards. Right, so. For idle, 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 we had 16. So let's load that. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember. Um, so we divide by sixteen. Right. Okay. So we got to div we load the frame count. We got to divide by sixteen. So that's logically sh LSR, isn't it? Divide by two. Divide by four. Divide by eight. 
divided by 16 and it with that and that will give us our frame that will give us our frame so for jumping So that's going to jump back to here yeah so jumping 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 was a frame delay of six but we'll make it eight because we can't do six so we'll make it eight so lose one and then and it to give us our index all right and then we still got to store Still got to store it. Right, so this is our um, our frame. So, oh, right, okay. Push it. Now, hopefully, our yes, we're still there. Why still? Why still there? Okay. Oh, that's not going to be right. So um, that that's better. That will do it. In fact, we'll put that there. And we'll load this again. Because what we're going to do is we're going to have this called set sprite. So, divide by 16, and zip, right. Load the high res sprite indexer, we push it, add it to the high res sprite indexer, and then we're gonna do the same thing, but this time, multicolor, and then we're gonna pull and do that again. So this needs to go there. Yeah, that works. And then when all sun is done, we are test out. Don't need this now.
this was um, this is the default which is 4 so we divide by 4 2, 4 do the same thing Right, okay. Um, now we need to write the basic sprite up data. Okay. Okay, a new file, please. Right. So this is going to be, um, this is where we take the virtual data and apply it to the physical sprites. Now, I had some clever code in that sprite library to do that. Let's see if I can find it. Don't fancy having to work it out again. Let's see, update sprites. Oh, there it is. Right, um, right, so we haven't got the that. Let me just go and find where it is. Oh, it's there. So we'll stick them in here. Don't need that. Right, so what this is doing is we have a maximum number of sprites, which is eight, yeah? And so we're Right, so we are, um, we're going to initialize the um, the maximum uh, the sprites, the phys the physical sprite array. Yeah. So we're initializing it with eighty. So eighty, I've made that on, haven't I? So 
So, I initialize, and then we work up the logical sprites. So we need to we need we there's going to have to be a function that says whether the sprite is on screen or not. Yeah. So um, we may have to write a function to do that because I think that was automatically done. Hang on. Let's see, set Y. It's going to be set X, I think. It's going to be in there. Yes, sprite on screen. So there's a function called sprite on screen that determines whether the sprite is on screen or not. Right, so that's a function that we've got to put in. All right, Mike, man, see you later. So we're going to run through the logical logical array, and we're going to determine whether that we're on screen. And the re and how we're going to determine that is we. Um, The sprites are going to have a stage X and Y, yeah? <laughs> okay, mate. Okay. So the sprites are going to have a stage in X and Y, which is from 0 to 60 times 8 or whatever it is, 128 times 8. Um, yes, no problem. But then we've got the field the field of view, the screen, and that's where we're going to determine if the sprite is on the screen. Because if the sprite is on the screen, then we need to put it into the physical array. Not sure if I missed something since I was coding, but where did you document in the code the array contents or array structure for each sprite? That is in the storage here. But document, document? Really? <laughs> Name, the names mean it. But it's in there. So now we're converting this logical array into the physical array. All right. So if it's on screen, now, if it's not on screen, then we move to the next logical sprite. If we've hit the maximum number of sprites, then we move on to the next logical sprite because we run out of sprites. And then we store the logical sprite number into the physical sprite array here. That means that when we... When we um, update the sprite we look at the logical array for that physical sprite number and display it all right so that should that is so we need to determine what's on screen and what's not on screen which is fine because we can do that because we can do that by using that. So let's grab it. So is sprite on screen? Gets that.
Now I don't want to have to do the JSR, so I'm just trying to find where the routine is. Oh, there it is. That's effectively that. So, so we are doing storage dot sprite array dot that doesn't look right. Oh, sprites array. Then um, we are not importing that, I don't think. No, that's okay. Then we subtract the screen delta and then we're gonna do the same for the high. Subtract the screen delta so the x has the low value and the a has the high value so so then we determine whether they're on screen or not yeah so if they're on screen, we're going to say on. Oh, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good. Um, we'll just do zero. We're not doing link in here. No, we're not doing linking, so we can get rid of all that. And if they're off screen, that's going to be FF. Because up here, We've got the defaults of FF, so. And we're not doing linking again. So that determines whether the sprite is on screen or not. So we can, we can actually mess around with that now. Um, because if Y is the logical screen area, then we can do this. I should do it. I mean, to be honest, to be honest, um, well, the first thing we need to do is LDA If it's enabled, if it's not enabled, what we shouldn't be working it out anyway. Right. So we determine whether it's on screen or not. Uh, 
Oh, so we we turn it it's on screen or not, and then we copy that logical sprite into the physical one. That's done. That. And then we do the literally the mapping. We do the mapping. So that's the update. Where are we? Here. Right, okay. So there's going to be a lot of things that we're going to be taking out of this. Because this is where most of the sprites update is is just taking too much time. Right, update sprites. So we are storing. So have we got store physical logical? No, where's physical and logical? Oh, it's up there. So we set up, then we do the determine whether the sprite is on the screen or not, which is here. So as we do the update, we did de we determine this on screen and then set it, and then we do the loop. So we load the physical sprite number. We get the logical mapping for that sprite. Yeah. And disabled unused sprite. All right, okay. So how are we going to how are we going to do that? Oh, that's enabling it. That's enabling it. So we already know that the sprite's going to be disabled. If the sprite's going to be disabled, it's not going to be on the screen. So, um, and also, I think, don't we reset the maximum number of sprites? Yeah, so they should be all off. Yes, yeah, so this is this is, this is disabling the this is disabling the sprite. So um, we've got Y. Okay, where's my array? Right. You're joking. Don't you know that that's there? Oh, yes, it does. So load that um, and it with. Oh, 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 oh. Let's do it the other way round. Let's do it the other way round. So load sprite mask comma white yeah 
XOR it with that inverts it and then and it against SPENA and then store it in SPENA that that will disable it that will turn the sprite off And because we've turned the sprite off, we can just jump straight out. End. No, not end. We don't go there. So we're going to name this something different. Um, Right, so if it's on screen, then we're coming here. If it's off screen, we're, dis we're disabling the sprite. Right, so first things first. Yes, first things first. Um, store that away. And enable the sprite because it could be disabled so we're going to have to enable it get rid of that in fact we can do it the other way around now can't we That should enable it. That enables it. Then we are that now modify we don't need to do that at all I'm just wondering if I should do that as X so Y is the current physical sprite, but X is the current logical sprite. Right. So, um, don't need that. Right, so we're applying, we are applying, um, the Y okay so X is our logical so LDA storage dot sprites array dot X low comma X and we're going to store that in SP Ooh. Well, that's not going to work, is it? That's not going to work. Oh, we're storing it away anyway. That's okay.
Now that'll work. So that's applied. Doing Y first, aren't we? So that's applied Y. Now we're doing X. Right, okay. Same thing again. Right. Um, I've just thought, I've just thought, the X is the staging area X and what X, not the screen X. Okay. Um, need to rethink this. Okay, um, let's do this. Um, Right, seeing as that we're working it out anyway, we'll store it away. Right, so we can use that now. Right, X is current logical, yeah, that's okay. Right, so
Do, 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 do. Right. So if you set the one, um, why is still available to us? Okay. So load ms. Come on, John. Right, load that. Um, in fact, no, we're not going to load that. Yeah. XOR. That's inverting it. And it with that. Store it in that. And then clear is the other way around. No. I know, I've got it wrong. I know, I've got it wrong. Don't shout at me. Got it the wrong way around. So we don't need to apply X now because we've done that. Right, let's put some markers in here. Right. So grab them again. Even though I don't think we've destroyed it, have we? No, so we don't need to grab them again. Uh, but we do need to... what I called it now. Um, Multicol. Right. And we do the same like this. But... because we're going to use be the most significant bit so clear multi call right what's the multicolor what's the multicolor one that's that one isn't it sprite mc
Don't need that. Oh, Pride is next. Oh, might as well grab all of that. Because we're still, Y is still intact, so that's going to be priority. Priority. Right, what's what's the priority one? I wonder if it's that one B. Yeah. Get rid of all that now. Right, what we're we doing now? Oh, expand. Well, we're not doing expanding. Right, applying the color. That uh, should be okay. Store it into SP col, isn't it? Comma Y. Is it SP col? Where's the colour? Ah, oh no, oh SP, oh there, SP0 call, that's the one. I wasn't far down enough there. <laughs> so we can get rid of all that. Now, we're not doing... This is doing, this is the animation, so... Um, What did I call it? Any any anim frame. Comma X store it in sprite zero, comma Y. Right, that's all that lot. Right, I hope we've got Sprite Zero. Ah. Uh. Oh, right, okay. Right, that should be it. Right, 
Right, where's Quasi? So we initialize the sprite, we set the base to be That's right, but it's not. We want him to be stood still, don't we? Oh, da, 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 da. Uh, da, da, da. game constants. We want him stood still. Idle, still want idle MC and then idle HR. Idle MC, idle HR. Right. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we. This is going to work. Right. We're going to turn the scroll off. So we're going to turn the scroll off. Um, yep. We're going to turn the scroll off. Um, let's. Oh, I haven't got it installed, have I? Right, so let's set him up. So this is where we're going to animate. And here. Now, there is a problem I've just thought. Um, we are looking at this. Now, let's put that into the loop here. Right, that's setting the frame counter. Right, let's see. Do we break it? Well, we definitely have a sprite there. We definitely have a sprite. And it's animating, it's just not animating in the right place. Question is, I've just thought, am I loading in the sprites? I don't think I'm loading in the sprites. No, I'm not. <laughs> don't, don't. I don't think I've got the sprites here. Oh, there, I've got the, I've got the SPD. Right, let's load that up. Punch back to
There it is. Right, let's export that. Just the sprite set will do. Oh. Binary. Just do binary. Yes. Please select the format of the sprite image attributes. Ugh, whatever. I didn't ask it to set the attributes, did I? Right. Let's have a look. So, we should have the sprites. Now, the sprites are going. I'll put it in the same place as where we had them here. Just so we uh, know where they're going. Right, so they should be in the right place. So, I haven't got it running. Right. Oh, look. <laughs> We're so close. <laughs> so close. Okay, let's let's see what's going on there. See what's going on there. Right, so sprite. Oh, it's it's going over the top. Yeah, it's going over the top. Okay. So there's a problem with our converter. here right let's find let's find that there we go 88EF let's see what's going on 88EF Oh, that's strange because 88EF is 1 oh it's 1 what happened to 0 that should be zero, 01 ok what's going on Right, let's um, just put a breakpoint in there. Let's find out what's going on. Right. Here we go. So this is going to initialize it. Now it's winding backwards and it's set that one. Now it's going to look at the, uh, is that on? 
No. So it's... Oh, right. So... A, B9. Oh, they're all FFs. Oh, here we go. Right, so it now think it now knows this one is so what we on X is zero. Transfer Y into A. Oh, it's put one. It's put one. But zero should have been active as well. Zero should have been active as well. Right, let's run that again. Right, this is uh, resetting. Right, Y. Here we go. Load 09C, 99C. And we have got 80. So it's saying that that's not active. It's saying it's not enabled. Have I not enabled it? <laughs> okay. Try this. Did that fix it? <laughs> oh dear. Night phase. Right. So we've got. So the high res is on. The high res is on. Now we're missing, we're missing the multicolor. And of course I didn't switch the multicolor on, did I? Do that, do I? Right. Oh, so close. What happened there? That's the multicolor. That's strange. What have I done wrong? Oh, John, come on.
Right, we're getting somewhere. So now we've got two sprites on. But that is in the wrong place. That should be there. Okay. Right, so that means there's uh, okay. So we're we're storing it in the right place. Oops. Right. Let's go to there. Um. ATEF, I think that's the one. Yep, right, let's run through it. Let's find out what's going on. Zero, that's in the right place. Iron, what? Iron Y, CPY. Store it away. Load number one. Here we go. So we should be okay. Yeah. Y is still one. Comes out. Load Y. Transfer Y to A, store it in FF2. Right. That shouldn't do any more now. So we'll put a breakpoint there and just run it through. Right. Zero, one, and the rest of them are off. Okay. So let's come out. Let's find out what's going on. So load y which is zero load ff2 zero so that's going to be zero lda is zero of plus which it is store it away load 15 or it with y Y is zero. So load zero, bore it with that, store it. So that's right. Load X with zero, load that, times it by two. That's store in the position. So this is the first one. So we know the first one's working. All right, so. So load Y, which is zero, increase it, store it, 
go to the top. Load Y1. O1. So that's sprite logical sprite 1. So this is working. But why is 2? Why is why is just changed to 2? Y is just changed to two. Okay. What am I, oh, it's that times two, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's this times two here. Here, right, we need to re-establish it because we're going back to um, that. And that's why it's gone over wrong. Right, let's try that. Let's see if that does it. Oh, so close. Now, what's wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Must be the sprite colour. Oh, multicolour. It's pink. I'm not setting that multicolour, am I? We're not setting the multicolors, are we? Um, right, okay, hang on a sec. We are not setting the multicolors when we're setting up everything. So we'll just, we'll put it here, just for the moment, like so. Right. have an animated sprite right let's see how much juice it's taking up Still taking a fair bit up. It's still taking a fair bit up. So we need to um, we need to think about this and see if we can make this go. Quicker. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Oh, who's just followed? Say hello. Say hello. We're not gonna. We're not gonna bite. Hello. Welcome to the stream. 
we're just trying to optimize right what we need to do is um, I think that could be part of the issue as well determine actual sprite on the screen this bit where we're running through all the all the sprites because we have to determine whether they're on the screen or not I'm just wondering if uh, I should make this into a loop and just go through all of them maybe that's what I should do just make it into a loop okay let's do that right so we've made that now into a loop so we can then go and take this out here and put it here so it just runs it once instead of eight time, 18 times so it runs it once right let's see if that shortens it down oh it has knocked it down nice so we we clear out we determine whether they're on the screen so we've got to run through them all anyway but this should make life a bit quicker as well um, This is taking the sprite. Are we on screen? I mean, this is only a small function, this is. So the rest of it is actually doing the update. All this, all this here. That's where all the time's been taken, it's doing all of this. All right, right, we've got, I mean, it's, um, it's a chunk, but it's not as big as this one. Because I think, hang on, let me get into it. I think the update sprite, let's have a look. Update sprite is dark gray, right? So on this one, it's dark gray. Here we go. So this is the update sprite routine and it's a lot wider than that is. So we have we have recovered some of the time back. Definitely recovered some of the time back. I mean I could I could put it roughly in the same place but I'm not going to 
he's floating a little bit <laughs> I don't have we got the number right hang on he's floating a bit where are we set up quasi did I put the right number in um Where's Quasi? Quasi, where are you? There we go. Right. 171. 171. I thought it, I put it at 171. Oh, did I t mistype it? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, 171. Okay, let's add it. Let's add three to it. That should. Got him sit. There we go. There he is. Right then, guys. I think I'll call it there. So we've 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 optimized our sprite library. Uh, so we've optimized the sprite updater. So it's taking less time. We've got a new matrix in place. So we are now talking directly to the matrix. We're not going through the the the, the library that we developed. Uh, several many many moons ago but it's definitely taking less cpu to update the sprites so um yeah i think we're on a winner so next i think on next stream we'll try we'll try and get uh, quasi moving and see if we can get the animation a bit more slicker yeah all right all right then guys well i'll see you uh what is it wednesday i'll see you next monday all right well take care and have fun bye i'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel without you guys i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing right now thank you very much